Hello everybody, I'm George Conley from Scratch Golf Tips and today I'm going to be talking about the blade versus the mallet putter heads. Which one you should be using, the pros and cons of each, and much more. So if you're looking to get some more info on putter heads and what they do for your game, stay tuned. Before I get into the details of each putter head, let me just show you the putter head of each. The blade, obviously generally a much smaller putter head. Uh, this, I've got the Odyssey Dual Force 664, just as, a, just as an example here. It's a much thinner putter head. And then the mallet is a much larger putter head. Uh, this is a power built uh, TPS X type. With a mallet putter, you can have a bunch of different head uh, types. You can have a more squared one. This is a kind of an intric more intricate putter head, uh, a half moon, you could have the spider that TaylorMade makes. So there are a bunch of different ones, but just generally speaking, mallet head cover, or excuse me, just head, um, head for a putter, and a blade looks something like this. So let's start with the blade putter. Um, generally, this is more of a purist putter. Um, you get these at mini golf courses. It's just, it's just a general well-known putter. Um, one thing that this has, it's, it's a lot, usually, it's lighter than the mallet. Ma mallet has more on it, more weight to it. And um, the alignment, you see a lot of alignment on the top. You have less alignment with this, just because it's a generally smaller club. But what these uh, really help with is if you have an arcing putting stroke. So from the front on, very few putting strokes, or some are, straight forward and back. S some go pretty dramatically in to out. And if you have a more of an arc in your putting stroke, the blade putter head is generally gonna be what you want. Now for a mallet, there's more weight, uh, there's more forgiveness uh, if you don't hit your putt perfectly on the center of the face. Um, and right now, if you have this you know, obviously every putting stroke isn't going to be exactly straight, but if your putting stroke is pretty straight, both back and through the ball, uh, generally I would say that a mallet is going to be the better putter head cover or head for you. A mallet can be very good for the beginning golfer for a couple of reasons. One, um, a big issue for beginning golfers is always your alignment. The way that your body is aligned to the putter, the way that your putter is aligned to the ball. Um, most mallet, uh, well, most mallets will have a lot of alignment tools just because there's so much room for lines to go back. So this putter right here, it has the top alignment, which can align your, which you can align your body to, and then this one, which you can align to the ball, to the hole, or whatever your target may be. Obviously, as I showed earlier, the blade, it just has this little line up top. You're not gonna get as much help with the blade. However. If you're more advanced putting, you hit good solid putts every time, you may get better results from this putter because although it isn't as forgiving, a lot of people say that if you pure a putt with the blade, it's you're just gonna get a better result, a more true putt than the odds of you hitting a pure putt with the mallet head. As for players on tour, you know, if you look probably 20 years ago, mallets were hardly a thing. Almost every player was using a blade of some sort, but we have seen a lot of players switch over to the mallet putter head. Most notably, I know Rory McIlroy uses um, the spider. I believe Jason Day, who's one of the most, uh, one of the best putters on tour, he uses one. Also Adam Scott, who has been all over the place putting, he uses these. But something about, two players on that list, Rory and Adam Scott, both incredible ball strikers, some of the best in the game, but they both really struggle putting. If both of them were excellent putters, they would be, they would win many more tournaments. But th that just kind of adds to the point that this is, um, it's a more forgiving putter. If you're struggling with your putting, maybe you have a, a blade with no sweet spot and you never roll your putts true, switch over to a mallet. It has more weight, more balance, better alignment, it's a more forgiving putter, generally. All of this is generally speaking. I don't think you should ever go ahead and buy a brand new putter and not know what it feels like. You might have a blade putter that feels forgiving to you and you can you can hit a lot of true putts with it. So get that blade, but I, I think um, putting is generally overlooked. You know, putting fittings or putter fittings are not very popular right now, but it's a great way 
to make sure that you're using the right equipment for your putting. There's a lot that goes into a putter. It's not just your head and maybe some people think about the grip on the putter. You have the, the offset here. Some putters go way out here. Some are straight up and down. Some putters uh, have the shaft insert towards the middle. This is all adjustments that you can make to your putter. Obviously, they're not always cost effective and I understand that not everyone can just drop a bunch, you know, $500 on a brand new putter, but just adjusting, like this is a, a, a big grip. This is the Superstroke Slim 3.0. Um, I have this on this blade putter just because it allows for uh, better control for me throughout this putter because um, this is a very small sweet spot, this Odyssey Dual Force. And uh, right now I actually don't have this in the bag. I have a Callaway Brass Billet. It's a very old club, but I like the way that it feels. Putting is very feel oriented, oriented. but as for me, um, if you're wondering if, whether I use a blade or a mallet, the answer is yes, to some extent. I, I think in the past four months, I've had four different putters. Um, this was in the bag in April, and then in May, I switched to a Tor Edge HP7, which is a half moon mallet. And then June, I went to the, I, I changed mallets. I went to the TPS from Powerbuilt, and now I'm back to another blade, which I have uh, in my bag. But I think the biggest thing that you can do is just maybe take one blade and one mallet putter, just take them to a putting green, or even just on your carpet indoors if you like, and just roll some putts, see what feels better. But as for the alignment, the weight, forgiveness, all that stuff, everything that I said will generally hold true to most putters. Thank you very much for watching the video. I appreciate it very much as always. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the SGT YouTube channel. That link will be on the left side of your screen. On the right side of your screen, you will be seeing a, YouTube, a video that YouTube has recommended that you watch. So I highly suggest that you do that. Thank you very much for watching. Once again, play well and take care.